kettlebell, full body, high intensity workout. And welcome to Love Yourself channel. I am Natalia. Get your water ready. Make sure that you are warmed up and let's get this one done together. Once again, make sure that you are warmed up. You have your water ready. Get your posture right because we are going to be moving pretty fast. The first exercise is a half squat to overhead throw. Go into a squat position, make sure that you keep your feet at about shoulder width, toes pointing forward or slightly outwards. Your knees are always following your toes. Grab your kettlebell, then stand up and bring your kettlebell above your head. Really engage your entire body, brace your abs, activate your legs, arms, everything should be working here. And we move into the next exercise, which is going to be a swing to a side lunge. Go into a side lunge and then swing your kettlebell forward. Drive it and initiate the movement with your hips. You can keep your other arm by your side for a better balance because you need to make sure that your body is facing forward. And we're already moving to the opposite side. So once again, brace your abs, keep your chest upright. Your back should be straight and neck should be relaxed and should be following your spine. And we're almost done with this one. Now again, one-sided movement. So pick your favorite side, grab your kettlebell, swing it upward and keep it above your head. Then with your arm still being straight, do a large step back and go into a back lunge. Keep your back straight, abs are engaged and look straight ahead of you. And we're already moving to the opposite side. So swing your kettlebell up and then large step back and do a lunge. Make sure that your knees are following your toes as always and keep breathing. Chest upright, back is straight. Keep that pace up. We only have 20 seconds of work with each exercise. And now move into a deadlift, into a squat to overhead press. You don't need to lower your kettlebell all the way down. Just go to about ankle level and then immediately move onto your squat, then come up and do an overhead press. And we're already done with it. The next one, do a curtsy lunge and then a front lunge and another curtsy. When doing a curtsy lunge, don't step too far to the side. Just bring your foot behind you and slightly to the side and do a lunge. Then go into a front lunge. You can lean forward for a better stretch in your hamstrings and in your glutes. Just make sure that your back is straight and your neck is relaxed and is following your spine. And keep going, keep that pace up, keep breathing. And we are already moving to our plank row to jump forward. Go into a plank, keep your body straight, try not to rotate, and then drive your kettlebell up and do a row with one arm. Keep your elbows close to your body, and then shoot your feet close to your chest and shoot them backwards and do another row. And already doing the same thing on the other side. So once again, the whole body is engaged, abs are braced, neck is relaxed. One row, shoot your feet forward and then shoot them back and do another row. Try to keep your body as parallel to the floor as you can and try not to rotate and lean to any side. Now go onto your back and bring your kettlebell in front of you above your chest. Do one leg raise, then the opposite leg and then do a crunch. You don't need to come up too far. All you need to do is just lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Now come up and we're going to be doing a swing alternating. Here, take your time to come up. If you feel dizzy, you need to slow down there. It doesn't matter if you miss half or even the entire 20 seconds. We're prioritizing our health. And if you can come up as fast as possible to do the swings, then do them with the proper form. And already moving to the first exercise. Half a squat, back is straight, abs are engaged, knees are following our toes. Bring that kettlebell above your head and activate your entire body. Keep breathing and keep that pace up. And now again, pick your favorite side. We're doing a swing to a side lunge. 
Your chest should be facing forward and should be kept upright. Neck is relaxed. Go into a side lunge and then drive that kettlebell up with your hips. Perfect. And already moving to the opposite side. Keep swinging. Drive that kettlebell up. Keep going, guys. Aim to get your upper body almost parallel to the ground when you're doing those swings. And the next exercise. Do a swing and then bring that kettlebell above your head and keep it there. Make sure that you do not hit your arm with the kettlebell. If you cannot master this movement, just do an overhead press and keep the arm straight and do a back lunge like that. And a swing. Keep that kettlebell above your head. Do a large step back, lunge. When lunging, make sure, as always, your knees are following your toes and your back should be straight. Perfect. Already moving to our next exercise. Grab your kettlebell, do a deadlift, immediately go into squat and then come up and bring your kettlebell above your head. Do another deadlift, squat, overhead press. Activate and engage your entire body and keep your back straight. And again, curtsy lunges. Do one curtsy lunge, then step back and do a front lunge. You can lean forward as I'm doing here when you're doing a front lunge, or you can keep your back upright. It's up to you what you want to target. Keep moving fast, keep breathing. And if you need to, take a sip of water, but make sure that you only take a sip or a two, and it's best to do it more frequently than to just gallop down the entire cup in one go. And then move onto the floor and we're already onto our rows. Body in one straight line, abs are braced, back is straight, do a row, elbow close to the body, then bring that kettlebell down and control it on the way down. Don't just drop it onto the floor. Bring it under control and then shoot your feet close to your chest. Shoot them back and do another row. We are moving very fast from one exercise to another. So try to keep your transitioning time, your rest time to a minimum because it's only 20 seconds. And then we're moving to another exercise. And already onto our back. Close that gap between the lower back and the floor. Do one leg kick, another kick, and then do a crunch. Only your shoulder blades are coming off the floor. Neck is relaxed and following the spine. And we're already moving to our kettlebell swings alternating. Make sure that you drive that kettlebell with your hips. Don't try to swing it with your arm. Your arm is just following your entire body when you thrust those hips. That's great. And we're already moving to our exercise number one. Look guys, the time is flying. So let's give it our best. Keep your form at its best and keep moving at your fastest pace to weave that proper form. While I'm talking, we're already moving to our side lunges. So go into a side lunge, grab your pet kettlebell with one arm, swing it, go into a side lunge. Really engage your glutes here. So when you're coming up, squeeze those glutes and then go into a side lunge. And then again, swing that kettlebell, squeeze your glutes. Back is straight. Keep breathing. Well done. Keep facing forwards and try not to rotate, which I know is hard because you've got your weight only in one arm, but do your best here. And again, pick your favorite side, do a kettlebell swing, then keep your arms straight with your kettlebell above your head and do a back lunge. And another one. And once again, if you cannot do that movement, just do an overhead press and then do a back lunge. And move into the opposite side. Bring it up, back lunge, and another swing. Keep that kettlebell above your head. 
control the movement. Move as fast as you can with that proper form. And move into our deadlifts to squats to have overhead press. Catch your breath quickly. Do that deadlift. Make sure that you tilt your pelvic floor. Don't arch your back. Your back should be straight. Then go into that squat and immediately come up and do an overhead press. Do not lock your knees. Do not lock your elbows at any point. And our curtsy to front lunge. Curtsy. Step back. Front lunge. You should be feeling that tension in your quads. Move as fast as you can. You don't need to go too far to the front with your front lunges. Just little step forward and lunge into it. That's great. We're almost done. Keep breathing. Keep going. And now move on to the floor and we're going to continue with our row. Go into a plank, keep body as straight as you can, bring that kettlebell and do a row. Shoot your feet forward and shoot them back. Control your body. Make sure that your wrist is underneath your shoulder to prevent injuries and to help yourself with the better alignment. And move to the opposite side. And again, a row and a front jump. That's great. Keep going. Keep breathing. We're almost there. I know that it gets intense, but it's only 16 minutes workout. I'm sure you can do it. You can. Lay onto your back. Close that gap between the floor and the lower back. Do a leg kick, the opposite leg, and a crunch. Activate your abs. Brace them and keep them braced throughout the whole exercise. Perfect. And now a kettlebell swing again. So come up, but make sure that you don't feel dizzy. And start swinging when you're ready. Try that kettlebell with your hips. Initiate the movements with your hips. Watch how my body almost goes parallel to the ground. And another swing. Perfect. And we move into our first exercise. That's great. We're almost done. Bring that kettlebell above you. Brace your entire body. Activate it. Engage every single muscle. Back is straight and keep breathing. Keep pushing. Side lunges again. Go onto the side lunge. Then drive the kettlebell with your hips. Do a swing. Side lunge, swing. Side lunge, swing. You're improving your flexibility, you're improving your agility, your balance, your coordination, you're training your endurance. This is such a great workout. It's good for your heart. An amazing cardiovascular session. Keep going. Already on the opposite side. Side lunge, swing. Side lunge, swing. Control every single rep. And now move into our backward lunges and keeping our kettlebell above our head. Swing it, keep it there, back lunge. Staying on the same side, only 20 seconds. Remember that good posture, your back is straight, abs are braced. Keep reminding about that constantly because the more tired you get, the worse your form gets. So you need to remind yourself to keep that posture right, to keep yourself in a proper alignment, to prevent injuries and to get all the benefits from this workout. Moving to our deadlift. Catch your breath quickly, grab your kettlebell, do a deadlift. Immediately move to a squat. Come up, do an overhead press. And another one. Great. And before you know it, you're already moving to the next exercise, which is our curtsy to front lunges. Pick your favorite side again. Do a curtsy and a front lunge. And another curtsy and a front lunge. If your balance is an issue, you can have a chair next to you, do those exercises next to your wall, and you will progress. The more you do it, the better you will become at it. And we're already on the opposite side. Curtsy. 
front lunch. Curtsy. Front lunge. That's great, and we're moving to our plank rows to a forward jump. Go into a plank. Brace your abs. Bring that kettlebell as high up as you can. Bring it back, shoot your feet forward. Well done. Keep going. Only three seconds to go. Move to the opposite side. We only have about a minute left. Keep going. Keep pushing. You can do it. Shoot your feet forward. That's great. Well done. And we should be doing our kicks now, but this is what happens when you get tired. I somehow forgot that I should have been doing my kicks to a crunch and I moved on to the last exercises which are swings and you can see how I'm trying to understand why my timer keeps going but I'm on the last exercise so if this happens to you at any point with the high intensity workout do any other exercise from the workout itself just do not stop it's best to keep going for the 20 seconds rather than stopping and trying to figure out what you've forgotten. And we're already done. So now make sure that you drink plenty, that you stretch every single muscle, let your heart rate to go down gradually. And let me know how you felt after the workout. Share with me what your favorite exercise was. And please subscribe to my channel that you do not miss any of my videos. And remember the main thing, love yourself and love your life. And I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.